Most people know Afghanistan as the war-torn country due to the conflict between the US government, the Al-Qaeda group and the Taliban government that protects it. Afghanistan has especially been at the center of news reports after the 9-11 attacks that shook the whole world. However, what we don't know about this Middle Eastern country is that underneath stories of terrorism and airstrikes is a lively community and a thriving culture, despite the challenges that its people have experienced over the past 17 years. We strongly suggest you postpone your travel plans to better times, as now it's far too dangerous for tourists of every nationality. But there are still a number of great travel spots that we want to show you in the security of your home. Today, we'll have a closer look at eight of the most beautiful travel destinations in Afghanistan. Don't forget to subscribe and let's head into it. Number 8. Bamiyan For lovers of culture and religious history, the Bamiyan story is a very sad one. In ancient times, the place was known as a hub for Hindu-Buddhist worship, and it thrived with artisans, monasteries, and especially sculptors in the ages before the Muslim invasion. In fact, the two giant statues of the Buddha that stood here were considered some of the most elegant 4th and 5th century carvings in all of Asia. In March 2001, however, these great effigies were destroyed by the Taliban, causing international outrage and even prompting UNESCO to tag their remains to prevent further destruction. Number 7. Samangan While the town of Samangan is an ancient caravan stop on the periphery routes of the Old Silk Road, that claim to fame isn't actually its major draw. That honor goes to the mysterious cave complexes of takht e rostam that carve their way through the dusty ridges of the mountains nearby. These are thought to have been built in the 4th and 5th centuries AD and are adorned with gorgeous Buddhist inlays of lotus leaves, all focusing on an inner mud brick stupa. They offer an immersive glimpse into an almost forgotten pre-Muslim past. Number 6. Herat It's easy to see why Herat, the third largest city in Afghanistan, has such a Persian flavor to it. The town sits just a stone's throw from the Iranian border, and it was once the home of the Timurid dynasty, a lineage that fused elements of Turkish, Persian, and Mongol culture in their time. The great pièce de résistance of the city is the Friday Mosque. This elegant structure of turquoise-tipped minarets and shimmering tiles is sure to wow the senses. It's thought to be more than eight centuries old. There's also the Herat Citadel to see and the tombs of revered Sufi poets. Number 5. Jalalabad Founded like so many other cities in these parts by the Emperor Akbar, Jalalabad is a place where the passage of ancient time is virtually palpable. You can often just make out the snowy peaks of the Safid mountain range on the horizon and imagine how the Mughal armies would have felt as they contemplated them way back in the 1500s. Closer to the city and the climate allows for citrus orchards and green parks, something Jalalabad is known for. You can also see the mausoleum of King Amanullah Khan, join the locals for hotly contested cricket games, or just enjoy the manicured parks and gardens. Number 4. Mazar-e-Sharif The cobalt domes of the Great Blue Mosque shoulder their way above the skyline of Mazar-e-Sharif, glowing white hot under the scorching bulk sun. Famed as the burial site of Ali bin Talib, the cousin of the Prophet Muhammad himself, it's a gorgeous array of Arabesque and South Asian architecture, complete with turquoise blue domes and gold-peppered minarets. However, the Muslim history is just one aspect of Mazar-e-Sharif, because the city is also home to countless Greek relics, ones that found their way here in the coming of Alexander's armies in the 3rd century BC. Number 3. Balkh Hailed as the epicenter of the Bactrian Empire of old, the aged town of Balkh has a history going back almost 4,000 years 
In fact, it was here, high up in the gaps of the northern ridges of the Hindu Kush, that Zoroastrianism and Buddhism first flourished in these reaches. Today, the town is hardly the noble capital it once was, but there is a certain palpable history to be found amidst the buzzing bazaars and emerald-hued green mosque. Number 2. Kandahar The revered home of the Mosque of the Sacred Cloak and a city steeped in history, Kandahar sits at the crossroads where southern Afghanistan meets the mountains of the country's heartland. The traditional seat of Pashtun power, it was the capital of the last Afghan empire during the years of Ahmad Shah Durrani. Today the place is filled with mosques, shrines and mausoleums to luminaries from the national past and folk come to see the curious inscriptions of the great Mughal invader Babur on the Chilzina view, located just on the edges of the city. Number 1. Kabul Once considered as one of the fastest growing cities in the world, during recent times in Kabul, Afghanistan's capital and largest city, has survived much of the war that took over the country for a long time. Within the city, you'll find parks, museums and plenty of other admirable spots that will leave you in awe. If you enjoyed getting to know the beauty of Afghanistan, share this video with your friends and hit the like and subscribe button. Stay tuned to learn more about the fascinating places you can visit around the world and I'll see you in the next video.